20 years ago, during the crack epidemic, I was in the Tenderloin. I found myself in the life of addiction and homelessness. Somehow I got lost. I know what it's like to be a homeless person in downtown San Francisco. A woman walking around with a backpack and having to fight off the men because they want you to go make some money for them. There's a level of feeling unsafe because we're women. But I just remember along the way, little angels that helped me. I would come up here, I would eat, I knew the staff, I was comfortable. It was like a ray of sunshine in the middle of a storm. It's a beautiful thing to work here. The women that Glide serves are mostly in mental health crisis, homeless. Many of them have a substance use disorder. Before COVID, the Women's Center would serve as a drop-in place for women to come and feel safe during the day. But our doors have been closed. So what we have been doing is providing support to 500 women in the shelter-in-place hotels. We're also trying to be in the community more. One of my goals for the Women's Center is to incorporate a variety of services, free art classes, workshops, guest speakers, healing circles, events. I'll stop women walking down the street. Hey, hey, how you doing? You need something? We don't always know our potential, and we don't always know our power. Sometimes it takes somebody else to help ignite your power and your potential. There was somebody there for me. When I was on the streets, Cecil was walking through the streets, trying to fight intergenerational poverty, social injustice, substance abuse. So I understand how important it is to provide a small beacon of hope to the women. I try to radiate that out. I feel complete when somebody smiles and says, you made my day. That's why I do the work. Thank you, God bless you. God bless you too.